Hey there, it's Better Photo Jim with your question of the day. So many of you in the recent survey asked about settings. How can I set my camera for the best photo of a particular subject? And unfortunately, it really varies. The, the settings that you do to, to make a great photo are gonna vary from scene to scene, from subject to subject. Uh, some of you asked, how do I use the settings for underexposed or overexposed photos? And I think what you really mean is, how do I correct for underexposed scenes or scenes that would result in an overexposed photo? And the thing that I like to use is a semi-automatic uh, exposure mode, such as aperture priority or shutter priority. I use aperture priority almost all the time. And then if I'm encountering a scene where it's just turning out too bright or too dark, I use the exposure compensation. Those two are gonna get you so far. So if you're not familiar with either of those, look for them on your camera right now. And I know you might not wanna dig into that thick camera manual, but go ahead and just look at the index for those two things, aperture priority, and exposure compensation. Exposure compensation you'll use often when you're in a situation where like it's an overly bright scene, say uh, a sandy beach or a mountainscape with lots and lots of snow. All of that white brightness can fool your camera meter into causing an improperly exposed photo. So you're gonna wanna change the exposure compensation to make it be a much more balanced exposure. All right, so I hope that helps you. Remember that the settings like photo tips is gonna be an ongoing learning thing. So you just tuck one every once in a while, just get one in your back pocket and you'll be there. You'll be creating just stunning, beautiful, uh, showstopper photos in no time. Hang in there. This is Better Photo Jim and I'll see you on the website.